Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Um, today we're gonna to be talking about how to actually become a Salesforce admin in a practical way. I've done similar videos about this, um, but I haven't really done one head on. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So a Salesforce admin, I'll leave um, a video about the top six things that Salesforce admins do. I'll leave a link to it somewhere around here um, or in the description box. But an admin is typically charged with the uh, configuration and the upkeep of the Salesforce org for the company. So they do things like setting up users, creating automations, testing automations, listening to users, training users, um, a lot of talking, a lot of hands deep in the database, um, trying to figure out where errors are coming from um, and trying to fix them. But all in all, a Salesforce admin career is a really awesome one. I was a Salesforce admin um, for a few different companies over the years. Getting into a Salesforce admin career has changed over the years before oftentimes your role of a Salesforce Salesforce admin would be thrust upon you by a company and that's what we called accidental admins um, and then they just really liked the system and they went going with it. Other times people were in IT and they were charged with it, um, charged with doing all the Salesforce stuff in IT and other times people just want to make a shift in career and now this is where I'm kind of grasping this video or directing this video to is how to get started as a Salesforce admin. You'll want to learn if the Salesforce admin is a good career path for you um, and what you like to do. If you're a person who likes to be up and moving and around, um, then maybe Salesforce isn't a good career for you. Um, Salesforce admins often work from home or they work a hybrid, a hybrid type of schedule and where they go into the office part of the time or they might have to travel to clients if they're in the consulting realm. And typically, Salesforce admins are another one of your nine to five jobs that are done mostly at a computer. Um, and so once you decide that a Salesforce admin career is good for you and that's what you want to go for and you want to eventually be a Salesforce admin, then next you're gonna to wanna to figure out how Salesforce works. This is oftentimes either through learning on Trailhead or watching YouTube videos like this. Essentially what your goal should be in the end is to get certifications to show that you know what you're talking about on the Salesforce platform and you know how to do certain things within Salesforce. And there are a few different ways that you could go about this. You could just go ahead at first into the admin certification, which is what I did and it was really daunting. I failed a few times before I eventually passed and then I was able to get more certifications and eventually get a job um, as a Salesforce admin for companies. Now Salesforce has recently released a new certification to kind of bridge the gap between being brand new to Salesforce and being a Salesforce admin. It is the Salesforce Associate Certification, essentially showing you that you, you know the basics of Salesforce, you know how to learn about Salesforce using Salesforce's products such as Trailhead um, or Trailhead Academy and you know the basic product offerings of Salesforce. Um, so that's a really good stepping stone to go from new to Salesforce associate certification and then go to the admin certification. Now there are other certifications beyond the admin certification. There's advanced admin, there's app builder, there's a whole host of associate certifications, there's developer certifications, there's architect certifications, but that's kind of getting beyond the scope of this video. But once you have your associate and possibly your admin certification, um, then it might be a really good time to start looking for an admin job on LinkedIn. Um, I really like LinkedIn. I post there pretty frequently. There's a plug up to a link in the description to take you to my LinkedIn profile. But the best way to look for an admin job is by opening yourself up to opportunities, specifically admin type jobs. But one thing I do wanna say here though, is that your first admin job technically doesn't need to be an admin job where the title says that you are an admin. There are other roles that are admin adjacent that you still work with Salesforce hands-on doing some type of data configuration or other type of configuration and helping users resolve their errors and issues that you can still learn a lot about Salesforce and get your foot in the Salesforce, the metaphorical Salesforce door. These are gonna be things like sales operations analyst or uh, revenue operations analyst. And these may work with other softwares as well, but these positions are really helping the sales users and other users to uh, really understand Salesforce and help guide them through using Salesforce and possibly through uh, common errors that you might find. You would probably be working with IT as well to 
correct some of those errors and to test out those errors as well. Um, and I, it's a really good way to get your foot in the door as far as becoming a Salesforce admin. Additionally, other things that will help you become an admin are creating things like blogs or portfolios, as some like to say it. Um, these will help that you know what you're talking about. But if you're looking for a quicker way to become a Salesforce admin, I would recommend getting more certifications and studying for those certifications and widening your knowledge so you can understand and you can interview better because you have a better depth and breadth of knowledge on the Salesforce platform. If I were starting out brand new on the Salesforce ecosystem, what I would do is I would get the associate certification, I would be getting the admin certification, and possibly the BA or the um, app builder certifications, and uh, posting about it on LinkedIn and opening myself up to opportunities on LinkedIn so then recruiters can see that I am a certified individual by Salesforce and that I kind of know what I'm talking about when it comes to Salesforce. And yeah, that is what I would do if I were starting brand new. But essentially that is how to become a Salesforce admin. Now there are other programs out there that you can use and you can enroll in, but really all you need to do is get hands on with Salesforce, start getting certifications to show uh, hiring managers and recruiters that you know what you're talking about and that you can perform the job duties that they're looking for. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. Um, I do have certification prep courses down below if you want to check those out. Those are through salesforceupskill.com. You can find me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.